Let me give up on this hair. Kind of looking like a mad scientist. I like it. I need a little bit more lighting though. Looks great. All right, let's do this. Ever since I've moved here, I've had a huge concern about leaving valuables here overnight. I went and installed locks. I went and installed security cameras that can notify me and the police, but it just didn't feel right. Like, what are the police going to do? This is Canada. No one carries guns. You carry batons. Are they going to ask them to leave the property nicely, eh? It's like that one Canadian robbery meme. Hello. <laughs> We're not interrupting anything, are we? Oh, no. No, nothing too important. What can we do you for? Oh, well, this is a carjacking. So if you folks could step out of the car, that would be just swell. <laughs> I'll just leave the engine running for you. Can I give her a, a hand on the way out, bud? While these all, all these options are, are nice, they're not a real solution to a real problem. Just check this clip out. This guy literally walks into the backyard to fill up the oil tank, which I don't think he ever did, walks up to my door, starts taking things out of his pockets to maybe lock the pick or take a piss on my door, I don't know, and then suddenly sees the camera, puts everything back, and leaves. Here's another clip. I actually filmed this guy the morning of this happening. Uh, he comes into the backyard, opens up the gate, like he didn't just walk in, he opened up the gate, he walked into the storage boxes, he opened them up, he started taking scrap parts out, and then he just left with them. Nothing bad for now, but it's just a matter of time. So we have to make something that can identify, document, and notify me when something's happening around here. A lot of my ideas that I make are from kid shows and things I thought of as a kid. And I remember watching Edna in the Incredibles and that one scene where she br opens up her layer and she has to go and scan her eyes, scan her finger, do a voice recognition, a bunch of things, and then she has to turn down like her gun that's about to shoot her guests. And it would be really cool to do something like that. Actually, wait. Fingerprint, got camera. I think we can do this, but first we need a game plan. If you're enjoying the video up to now, if you want to help me out, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe unless you want to, but to me the most important thing is that you actually watch the video to the end and see if you enjoyed it or not. I'm editing it right now and trust me the end is 100% worth it. This part was so goddamn boring that I decided I'm gonna go stream it on Twitch and YouTube, shout out. But don't worry, you didn't miss much, it was just 4 hours straight of measuring each part. Using those measurements from the stream, shout out. I made a quick CAD model, here's what it looks like, and I popped that thing into the 3D printer. After a bunch of high carb spaghetti and about four failed prints, we've come out to this. I mean, just check this thing out. You got your keypad to enter your code, your fingerprint scanner to scan your finger, your camera to take pictures, record video, and then I could see who the hell is trying to disarm or arm my security system. You got your mic here for the famous Edna mod. And then you got your arm and disarm button, and all that stuff will be displayed on the screen right here. None of this is soldered up, so we're gonna have to do that, but just look how freaking clean that looks. What's up? Voiceover Mike here again. Turns out, this part was not going to be easy or interesting at all. Regrettably, it took me about 50 hours to make the wire harness, and then I had to include each cable for each sensor. They all had to be labeled, soldered, and wrapped up. I also had to make a power supply unit since I had so many things drawing power. Then I had to write the code for everything from absolute scratch. Can't post that footage here because I'd be breaking YouTube term of service, but here's an example. Then I had to take the whole thing apart, oh, and make a hole in the wall. And after mounting the box and the power supply right next to it, it was time to pass each delicate wire through the wall and pray that one by one they didn't get snagged or ripped or that anything would go wrong. 
After that, the final step was to connect it to the motor. Oh, and if you want a real laugh, check this out. I'm using these stickers, right? Which worked by having a grid, and depending on what rows and columns you can do with electricity, you can figure out which button is being pressed. Now there's a pinout for these. I assumed that this would be the pinout. Column 1, column 2, simple, easy. But no! That is too easy, Mike! Here's the pinout of this piece of crap. Column 2, row 1, row 1, column 3. Like, what the fuck? I ordered three of these because I kept thinking they were faulty. Anyways, now we can finish this goddamn video with the proper test. Here's how it's going to go down. Walk up. Activate the system. Enter the password. Place your finger on the scanner. This takes a picture of your finger and analyzes it for a pattern. A simple zigzag that uniquely matches your specific fingerprint. Look at the camera and scan your face. This uses AI similar to the fingerprint, just more complex and creates this point pattern which can be referenced for many things, like specific body parts, eyes, nose, or even emotions. I can tell if you're happy, sad, or angry before you even walk in through the door. In our case, when it detects a face, it's going to snap a picture, and then it'll use that picture as a reference for comparisons with all the face models we have in the database. Then pull down the mic and say the secret message, Edna Mod, which leads to the main button lighting up, and then Yes! <laughs> it fucking works! See this dog? Have you seen this? It fucking works! Yes! I can't believe it actually worked and actually got it to work. This was supposed to be like a week long project and I ended up becoming like two and a half weeks and I'm just so happy and proud that it actually worked. And I want to say thank you to everyone who helped along the way. Come here! <laughs> If you enjoyed, I don't really ask for much ever, but I'd love if you shared the video with somebody that you think would enjoy it just as much as you did if you did. And if you didn't like the video, well, you can suck it.